personally me and a few other other uh, members of our team we were having a good experience with apache beam so we thought of using apache beam but yeah definitely we had uh, you know initially we had few challenges uh, to go with that route so you know few uh, few few uh, key challenges we had yeah definitely you know we had scenarios where we need to connect to uh, uh, different databases or source systems that are present in the on premise systems and also uh, we had to connect to you know, systems that are present in, in, in different cloud environments rather than Google Cloud. And uh, the and also one, one critical problem statement we have is you know, the, the thing we are going to develop is will be uh, used by the business users mainly or the business analysts who are not really you know, uh, very confident or you know, very comfortable with writing codes. We know uh, in Apache Beam, we need to write write codes and you know if we, if we if you want to deploy the pipelines if, if we want to run the pipelines we need to write commands but our business analyst or business users were not very comfortable with those things so we had to keep those things in mind that we need to build something or we need to actually present them something that is not that really you know not that code heavy so they are comfortable with doing configurations but not really writing code so writing the codes and all those things it it's it 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 needs to be you no know, uh, needs to be with the developers only who will be writing the codes and making the things and presenting it to the users who will be do, just doing the configurations and making the things uh, useful for them and also uh, we we wanted to have something that is cost effective that is not really uh, i mean that that we we don't need to pay a really high license cost for the tools or for the you know things we are going to build and also uh, that was more of a our, our internal uh, internal decisions that we wanted to go with open source projects like apache beam so with uh, with these things in mind what we came with we we came up with some ideas right so how we can do those things or how we can achieve that so yeah definitely me uh, i was i was uh, part of the architecture team as well and me and and few of my colleagues we we did a brainstorming and came up with some ideas so what we wanted to achieve is something like that right so we wanted to build a definitely an application in the core of the application apache beam will be there so basically apache beam will be taking care of connecting to the databases bringing the data in and also you know doing the uh, uh uh, doing the type conversations uh, say for example uh, not all the oracle database types are currently being supported in bigquery so we do we do need to actually convert the types few cases right so we wanted to build a uh, solution that you know apache beam will be core of the solution it will take care of you know getting the data in doing the type conversation and actually putting the data into bigquery and we wanted to build a wrapper around it and also we wanted to build a user interface around it so that you know the business users can interact with the with the user interface they can put uh, the configurations like you know uh, the, the database name uh, host name port name uh, and also you know, the username passwords the tables they want to connect so they will be actually presenting or they will be uh, putting those uh, configurations in the user interface and the rest of the things will be taken care of by the application so we we came up with uh, we we came up with this kind of uh, idea that you know how that you know this is something we wanted to build so we thought about yeah definitely you know apache beam was uh, in, in the core uh, of that application that we were talking about or we were thinking about now we thought about that you know how how we we should do that you know how should we approach that then uh, we we definitely we did some uh, did some pocs and internal testing and then we came up with an with an idea that yeah we can we can do it and we can do it in the uh, google cloud platform yeah definitely you know most uh, uh, the, the, the customer we are talking about, they are already on the, on the GCP and they are using BigQuery uh, a lot. So we wanted to build that on uh, on, on GCP. So yeah, so this was this was the idea, and also 
say here we want to take we wanted to take care of those things as well that you know that our uh, data flow or the apache beam pipelines should be able to or should be able to connect to the different uh, databases databases uh, using on premise systems residing in other cloud environments so that you know we can actually we can have some network connectivity to those um, on premise and on cloud uh, other cloud environments as well so keeping those things in mind what we uh, what we came up with is uh, uh, a solution design that is on a uh, Google Cloud Platform. Right? So the solution design looks like something like this. So here, yeah, we have used a lot of um, Google Cloud technologies to actually build these things. So how it works is that it has a user interface so the user interface it was basically the basic user interface built on uh, using using uh, html and javascript so we have an user interface where users or business analysts can interact so they they can put that you know uh, uh, that uh, what kind of databases they are connecting say it's it's an oracle database it's in mysql sql server kind of databases then the database names, port, host name, so basically, you know, all the all the database details, and also you know, the username, password, the credentials, they put it here, and then it it goes to a um, application. We call it the uh, call it as an orchestrator application. So it was it's an it's an application uh, built using Java, and it runs on uh, Google Cloud Serverless uh, Cloud Run. So what it does it takes these inputs from the users and put it into a meta data store that was uh, actually that is that is built on um, google cloud data store so that's a you know, nosql database where we can actually it's, it's a serverless nosql database where you can actually put the uh, data you know for for retention so it's it's more of our uh, meta data store and also we are extensively using the cloud scheduler and task manager you know for managing the tasks and also you know managing the schedules say for example if there can be cases that the user want to run the pipelines just right now or there can be cases where the user want to schedule the pipeline so if the user puts some scheduling information say for example daily ones or you know even even in in our ui they can put a uh, simple uh, simple uh, corn um, uh, notation and and based on that notation it will be scheduled in the Google Cloud scheduler right? so once everything is done say for example the metadata is written into the data store and also the schedule uh, schedules are created in the scheduler then what it does so there are two things or two ways it can be done that you know the user can uh, submit a request to run the pipeline just now or the user can schedule a pipeline. So if the user you know, run the pipeline just now, what it will do, it will put the data into the um, put the metadata into the metadata store, and this application will again bring the bring those data in. And then you know, based on the based on some pre-built configurations, then it will determine that you know that uh, say it is connecting to a certain database where those database resides so based on that it will choose that which uh, vpc the data flow will run and based on that it will actually say this application will create the data flow on the fly and it will submit the pipelines in the gcp data flow runner so the gcp data flow runner will then you know uh, will have all the information that how to connect to the database what the network what networks to be used and what are the username and passwords and then this data flow will connect to the on-premise or external network or, you know, or, or on the database that is present in, in different cloud, maybe using the VPNs or any other way of connectivity. We'll, 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 we'll connect to the database, put the data in, process the data and put it into the BigQuery. And in case of, uh, in case of if it is scheduled, then what it will do, the scheduler will trigger the, uh, trigger the pipeline, it will you know, uh, trigger this application, and then this application will then fetch the data from the metadata store, 
then again it will do the same it will create the on the on the fly it will create the data flow uh, it will create the data flow and submit the data flow into the data flow runner and uh, it will connect to the database and uh, pull the data in so uh, this is the architecture we came up with and uh, also we you know we uh, did the implementation as well and uh, yeah definitely thanks to uh, thanks to apache beam with you know it, it comes with a lot of connectors so we mostly use the jdbc io connectors uh, for all our you know relational databases especially say oracle mysql those things and uh, for the other connectors say for example salesforce uh, for other you know rest uh, restful api based connectivity we uh, actually you know wrote our own connectors to be able to connect to those RESTful APIs or to be able to connect to Salesforce. And also we have uh, used Apache Beam uh, inbuilt MongoDB connector to connect to the, you know, to be able to connect to the uh, MongoDB database as well. And as we as we speak, we are now um, extend, extending this uh, application. We are building more and more connectors, right? So say for example, we are building connectors for different type of files say it's it's xml files it's you know, csv json uh, parquet files it's it's kind of easy right but it, it it's a little bit diff difficult when it comes to uh, xml files so we are actually you know putting in some process that the user can actually supply a xsd and uh, using that xsd it determines the schema and all those things right so uh, the the development is is actually being done and we are extending this but the main thing uh, is you know we came up with this architecture and we uh, you know, uh, we were kind of uh, implemented this very quickly i will say um, you know with with uh, help of apache beam connector so the, the first release as I, as i remember the first release uh, it took only, I think, uh, four weeks to, you know, do the development and, you know, make the first release out of, uh, out available for the users. And in the, in the first release, we had a uh, Salesforce connector. We had uh, connectors for most of the relational databases using our you know, JDBC IO. And yeah, then, then we are extending the connectivity for different RESTful APIs. As you know, the RESTful APIs, uh, it's, it's a little bit different. Right? So for a different uh, you know different uh, apis they provide the data in a different way different kind of pagination so for restful apis it takes some time to develop new connectors but for you know other things it's it was just uh, quickly done so uh, yeah so uh, we were we were kind of you know uh, successful with this this project and uh, it was uh, uh, i mean it was it was developed quickly and it is running fine at this moment right so so few uh, few few key highlights i would like to say is at this moment it is running on completely serverless platform so you can see you know all the, all the services we are using from gcp and also the data flow runner it's completely serverless so uh, we are uh, not really i mean uh, uh, and and also also it's it's running on the no no uh, no ops platform so we don't need an infrastructure team to actually maintain these things right so it's from operations point of view it's also cost effective and also you know there is no licensing cost as well so from licensing point of view also it is it is cost effective and as we are actually you know building everything on our own so we can make it really customizable right so any any type of rest rest apis any type of things we can connect we can actually say if if the connector is available with apache beam then it's fine if it is not then we are just creating the connector and making it useful for us and uh, and and also you no know, uh, also few things i would like to mention that uh, uh, the, the user interface we built on top of uh, Apache Beam and top of this application, it is really helpful for the business users, right? So, or the business analysts who are actually using this application. So they are not really uh, not really bothering about what is running behind, what is running inside, right? or what the code is running. They don't need to maintain or they don't need to go into go and look into the codes. So they are actually looking into the uh, user interface, uh, doing the configurations there 
and yeah and, and and things are just running smoothly in the back end and you know, they are getting their data into the bigquery databases so that is uh, that is what actually i wanted to share that how uh, we have used uh, how we have used apache beam uh, in our project so in our um, project for our you know different customers uh, for data consulting services and uh, we were kind of uh, you know uh, successful doing that and it is we productionized this i think uh, around around a year back and it is running absolutely fantastic uh, and it is uh, producing really nice results so for uh, so this is what i wanted to share uh, for any any questions you, you, you can reach out to me in my linkedin and also you can post the questions here i'll i'll take the questions uh, after this and uh, yeah also uh, also it was it was near, uh, really you know nice to uh, be able to part of the uh, uh, beam summit 2022